This is the Korea Review Video of Rodney Cooper. As a senior, Rodney Cooper played in 33 games, missing just one contest, and starting each game he played. Cooper averaged 13.8 points in his last nine games. He led the team in three-pointers made with 49, and was second on the team in three-point percentage, and minutes per game played. The wing finished with a scoring average of 11.1 points per game. He also added 1.6 assists, and shot 80% from the free throw line. Rodney closed his career with nine consecutive double-digit scoring performances, and had a season-high 27 points at Iowa State. Every 30 second shot clock from here on out and not score again and they're going to win the game more than likely. And then Cooper does that with four on the shot clock. <laughs> Enough uh, being very patient letting the game come to him. Cooper. And Norris with a rebound. Cooper again, the floater knocks down. Aaron again from downtown. And a nice follow by Cooper. assertive at the offensive end. What does that look like? Or what would it look like against a tight zone defense and Still on Tyndall's bench. Or will it be Cooper? Quiet star. Cooper. He's been the guy. The big dog. Baseline jumper, that's about the best look they can. Good decision right now. Florida's defense is playing well. Say that that's not going Coleman the kick out again. They move it to Cooper for three. Go! Cooper. What a difference. He's a one man scoring machine. The Boston Celtics invited Rodney Cooper for a pre-draft workout in Boston on June 8, 2015. Cooper was not drafted, but the Celtics invited him to be part of their associated D-League team. Instead, Cooper opted for international basketball as a pro, signing at KK Saprone first, team he then left. Rodney Cooper, joined the Mexican team, Gigantes del Estado de Mexico, in early October of 2015. The American small forward played three games before suffering a hand injury on October 29. In Game 2, vs Cancun, Cooper showed all his potential with 20 points, 6 rebounds, and 5 assists, ending up as the game's most valuable player. It was in Game 3, versus the Santos, of St. Louis, that Rodney had to leave the court after only 16 minutes of action with an injured hand. In those 16 minutes Cooper had already totalized 9 points, 3 rebounds, and 2 assists, and was on his way to a great performance again. <laughs> 